Okay, so you can also create a interactive PDF by using InDesign. And right here I've created a basic, very, very basic InDesign file um, with four buttons and four pages. Um, and I'm going to set that set this up so that when I export it as a PDF, it's going to hopefully work. Um, when I click the buttons, it'll jump to whatever page I have it set up as. So first of all, I'm on page one. I first of all want to set up my hyperlinks. So let me um, check new hyperlink destination. So first of all, let me open up the hyperlinks panel. I'll go to Window Interactive and check the hyperlinks panel. You also have bookmarks and states that may open with that and you can open those as well. You may use those later on. Um, so in the hyperlinks panel you have the little option menu and if you click on it you can choose new hyperlink destination and so I want page one to be a hyperlink destination so I choose type as the um, page is the type and the name I can just check this box and it will automatically name it for me if you want it to be a custom name you can type that in and I have chosen page one and the zoom setting I'll just choose fit in window um, for now um, you can change these settings later on and I hit OK and let me do that again for page two and if you want to scroll down to page two while you do this you can do that um, you don't have to so that's page two um, basically the same settings I'll hit OK and now I'll go to page three new hyperlink destination and finally page four and these settings in this box stay, stay the same so I just kept them okay let me go back up to page one and now I'm ready to set up my buttons or but first I have to convert these text boxes to buttons so I have um, basically a shape of a square drawn behind my text box I'm just going to use the text box um, you can use any graphic element or text box that you wish. Um, I'm just going to select my text box and go to the top to object and go interactive and then convert to button. So I'll click on that. Now the other way to do that is to right click on the text box, go interactive and convert to button is right there. You also notice new hyperlink is right there as well so you can set up your text boxes to be hyperlinks as well if you want to change that. Um, so now you see this little icon. Um, this is now a button. Um, it's not a text box anymore. Um, so with that chosen, with that chosen, I'm just going to right click on the button and go back up to interactive and um, change the button options. So I want to choose button options. You can also do this through the object menu, go object interactive and button options. Um, and here you have the button name, um, it automatically should name your button for you. And you can type in a description if you wish. And you can make the um, PDF show the buttons as being visible, hidden, or um, visible but not printable or hidden but not printable. I'm just going to leave it as visible for now. You may want to cho choose hidden later on. Um, behavior. So this is where I'm going to actually set up the button to work. Um, so the vent is the mouse up, which means I'm going to push down on the mouse and when I let go of the mouse, the mouse is going up. So I want mouse up to be chosen um, and I want it to go to the anchor I just set up and it is in this document. If you have multiple documents you're connecting, you can do that. That's uh, fine. And if you were to do that, you would hit choose here and choose whatever other document you want the button to open. And anchor. So here's my anchor, and I want it to go to page one. So I choose that. And the zoom, again, I can set the zoom um, up again here if I didn't do that already. And it's important once I get that set up to click add. And when I hit click add, you see that that attribute is added right here. And I hit OK. And I'm just going to do the same for page two. Um, 
I'll con first of all, I'll convert that to a button. Convert to interactive, convert to button. And I'll right click in interactive, new, um, I'm sorry, button options. And I'll go to the anchor in this document. And I'm going to make it page two and fit in window. And I'll hit add. Now, so that one's set up. And I'll convert this next one, jump to page three. I'll convert that to button. I'll jump up to button options. And I'll change that to page three. And I'll hit add. And page four, the last one. So interactive, convert to button. And interactive um, button options and I'm going to go to page 4 fit in window. Now I had set up some more uh, previously before doing this video that's why there's so many. If you only did four but four URL or four hyperlinks I'm sorry four hyperlinks you probably will only see four hyperlinks there so it should be a little simpler and inherit zoom and I'll click add um, don't forget to click add and then hit OK. So now all four of those buttons are set up and ready to go. Um, in to save time, um, I have this on every page, but these are not buttons. To save time, I'm just going to copy these buttons um, and I'm going to paste them on each of the other pages. So let me actually, I'll zoom out just so I can select a bunch. Select these buttons, go back, paste them, and I just set them up so I could line them up very quickly and very easily. Um, if you are doing this, you want to make sure all your buttons are in the exact spot that you want them. So you may or may not want to do this, um, um, but you want to make sure they're in the correct spot. And so all my buttons are now set up um, on every page of my document and you can have different buttons on different pages and that's fine as well so at this point I'm gonna save my document um, as an InDesign file that keeps everything so I can edit it later on so that's an important thing so make sure you save it as an InDesign file first and now I'm gonna export it as a PDF and depending on what you're doing you can save it as um, any one of these settings. I'll do small file size as if I'm going to use it for the web or for um, emailing to people. So I chose small file size and here I have um, settings. Usually I don't mess with these. I usually just change sm to small file size but make sure you check the boxes at the bottom where it says include hyperlinks include interactive elements at least those two um, if you have all those five boxes checked I don't think it will hurt anything but um, definitely check hyperlinks and interactive elements and I'll hit export and it just exported it so let me open it up real quick see what happens so this is my this is my PDF document and um, so I'm just on the hand tool right now. If I click on jump to page one, well, I'm already on page one, so don't do anything. If I hit jump to page two, that works. Jump to page three, that works. Jump to page four, that works. 